What's up everybody, it's the Average Fisherman. Today we're going to be talking a little about jug fishing and how you can make your own jugs. I'm also going to show you a few of the jugs I use. First off, we have the small Go Glow bottle. It's got a nice night light glow stick feature, you know, so if y'all do any nighttime fishing, this is a must. You know, I mean, I can't count the times we've been out and lost the jugs because we couldn't find them at nighttime. It's a good jug. Check them out. Go-glow.com. Here's another jug. Got it from Walmart. I painted it up, put a little reflective tape on it, try and find it better. But these are some of the ones I'm telling you we've lost at nighttime. Here's another jug. It's called the Jimmy Jug. Got these off of uh, eBay. Uh, it's pretty good, but again, nighttime is kind of hard to find. The good thing about it is you wrap your line around here and you just throw it out and it unwinds itself. Same as that last jug from Walmart, you can wrap them up. Is the bigger bottle from Go Glow. This is a real nice jug right here. It can handle a good sized fish. It's got the weighted cap so it'll stand up. It's got a nice little glow feature to it. The glow stick, must have for nighttime. Put some big live bait on these, get some big fish. And if you really want to go big, it's the three gallon bottle from Go Glow. Weighted cap. Man, you could suspend a big bait underneath this thing and catch a big fish, which we plan on doing. Now along with the along with these glow sticks that Go Glow offers, they also got these neat little lights. You know, they got five, six different settings. You can choose the color you want. Some of them alternate colors. Flash. These things are nice, must have. Now if you want to make your own jugs, you can just find any kind of, you know, pop bottle, bleach bottle. I went to Walmart, found these clear green jugs. For like water bottles, I like them because they got the handle. That helps get them fish in. They got this little cap on them, which we're going to epoxy shut so they don't take on no water. Also, a thing to remember when you do these jugs, you know, certain states, different regulations. Here, we got to put our name and address on there, you know, for identification reasons. All right, here's some of the things you're going to be needing. You got your jug, get some nylon twine, and you pick this up at Walmart or anywhere. Some hooks, or just some gamakatsu octopus circle hooks, good hooks the epoxy for the lids because I don't want these jugs to take on no water. The first thing you do, depending on how deep you want to fish, take your jug. We're only going to be fishing about five foot deep. So pull you off about six foot. And where you got room to play with your knots. Take and come here on the handle right here. Do a polymer knot. Right here on the handle. It's a good strong knot. Then you wrap it around the lid like that to get it to hang straight down. Just have to tie a knot there. But it's a lot stronger. Secure it here first because it'll always slip off these necks. We're going to mix this up a little epoxy here. You know, depending on the jugs you get, you might not have to do this, but it's a good idea to do it. Mix up a little epoxy. And stick them down in these cap lids. All right, now we got the epoxy on the lids drying. I'll show you see, I took a tied on the handle. And I just tied like a little loop knot around this neck right here, so when the lid goes on, it let that jug pull straight up and down. So you know when you got a fish, it'll be stood up. All right, we're gonna show you how to do the hook now. Take your line and stick it straight down the top. Pull it down about four or five inches and pinch it right there. Now pull that line up and start making loops. Laying one right over top of the other. See them laying over top of each other? I usually do five. Now take your tag in 
and stick it through that loop you made when you pinched it keeping all your knots together and pull this top piece not the bottom piece hold the bottom piece hold your bottom piece pull that top piece and lock it in real tight and you just snailed that now what's so good about that is as you can see this hook is now part of the line it's not going to bend turn twist or nothing when you hook when you pull it's just part of the line now all right now I've done showed you how to make your own jug I've done showed you some of the other jugs that are out there you know there's more on the market than just these you can make your own be creative main thing is just to get out there and fish if I can catch fish so can you